I am originally from Wisconsin. Yeah, we got some Wisconsin people in here, huh? Um, I was just back here for the holidays. I was in, it was a really tough thing, wanting to come back for the holidays, because I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to come back for the holidays because I could fly to Wisconsin from Los Angeles for $750, or I could fly to Paris for $400. My mom was like, are you coming home for the holidays? I was like, I might go to Paris. She's like, what's in Paris? I'm like, not you guys. <laughs> It sounds amazing. I just want to be eaten out while eating a croissant, you know? Like, I want to have the best fucking holiday. <laughs> I want to hang out with you guys for $750. I did, I did it. Uh, <laughs> I did it because my grandma is my best friend. Me and my grandma are super close. And you don't know how much time you're gonna have left with your elders, you know? My grandma, uh, she became a widow about a year ago. And it was kind of this weird time because she started requesting to come on tour with me for the first time ever. And I do tour a lot. I live in LA, I come here, I go to New York a lot. And so she's been like, yeah, just pick me up and bring me. I wanna be your, I wanna be your roadie, she says. <laughs> I wanna be your groupie. I'm like, well, those are different, Grandma. Do you wanna help me with equipment or do you wanna suck my dick? <laughs> because I don't think I don't think you want to be my fucking groupie, Grams. Uh, <laughs> but the last time I was performing here in Chicago, I did bring my grandma, and we stayed down the street at a hotel for four nights in a row. And every single night, she stayed out with me and the other comics till two in the morning. Isn't that fucking badass? I know, she can't, like, she's not dead yet, so she can't hear the claps, but I'll tell her you guys were excited. Uh, <laughs> dead people can hear that stuff. Um, <laughs> My grandma and I stayed at this hotel down the street. It was funny coming on tour with my grandma because have you ever left? Think about this. How awkward it is to leave a comedy club fucked up at two in the morning and leaning on your grandma and acting like you're doing her some sort of favor. <laughs> I was like walking down the street like thankful that I had a crutch and I'm like, I hope I don't break her legs. <laughs> but while we were staying in this hotel together, I had to do a podcast, and grandparents don't understand podcasts. It's just the radio, or not the radio, right? So I was like, Grandma, I have to do some radio shit in the hotel room, and she's like, okay, okay, I'll just hang out in the corner. I'm like, yeah, just hang out in the corner, they're not gonna know you're in the room. She takes it super literally, because that's what that generation does, and she hangs out in the corner of the hotel room like this. <laughs> like, watches me over her shoulder the whole time. But at the end of the podcast, <laughs> The guys on the other line were like, all right, Natasha, it's been so fun talking to you, but we just want to know, what is it like trying to make it in Los Angeles? What is it like trying to be a comic, a woman in comedy? And I kind of took it in and I was like, you know, I think we're all just trying to not die. And my grandma screams from the corner of the room, I'm trying to die. <laughs> I want to fucking die, I'm really ready. So grandma's banned from podcasts. Uh, <laughs> officially banned. Um, after this, I'm gonna read you guys something amazing. Uh, after this trip to Chicago, I called my grandma back in Wisconsin. And I was like, listen, bitch, uh, you're a lot and I love you, but like we need to find some friends that are your age that know what you're going through. And I signed her up for this widow's club and she kind of fought me on it. And I was like, just go, just go and hang out and see if you meet some other people that you enjoy and relate with. And she did it. I called her the next day after the Widow's Club and I was like, how was it? How was the Widow's Club, Grandma? And she's like, I hated it, they're all fucking old. And I was like, all right, cool, all right, dropped it. Next week I get a letter in the mail. It was a letter, it was a questionnaire from the Widow's Club that my grandma filled out. It was six questions to try to make these women love life again without their spouses. It was my grandma's six answers to these questions. Number one, what in life haven't you done yet that you most desire to do? Die. <laughs> What's your biggest regret in life? Not being dead yet. <laughs> Number three, what is it you look forward to the most? The end of life. <laughs> What's your most challenging obstacle in life? Waking up. <laughs> When you wake up in the morning, what is your first thought? Oh shit, not again. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And finally, this has got to be my favorite. What's number one on your bucket list? Any guesses? Die, right? Most people think die. Number one on your bucket list, see Italy. I'm like, really, bitch? The only thing that makes you happy is the most expensive fucking place? You know how hard it is to save up for Italy? So when I got this letter in the mail, I started saving for Italy. And I did surprise my grandmother at Christmas with a trip to Italy. Uh, thank you. The whole time I was saving up for it, I was like, this bitch better not die before I save the money. What if she dies when I surprise her? What if we get to Italy and then she suddenly dies? Like, there's so many things that go through your head when you're surprising an elderly person. I surprised her with this gift in, in, in Wisconsin over the holidays, and I kid you not, she opens the box, and I have this voucher for Italy, and I was like, Grandma, we're going to Italy, and she goes, hmm. How long is that flight? <laughs> I was like, it's about 14 hours. And she goes, oh. <laughs> I swear to you, I wanted to kill her. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I'll make your wishes come true, Grandma. I'll fucking. <laughs> so she doesn't want to fly to Italy. This is the bottom line. So while I was home for the holidays, I decided with my mom that my mom and I are going to go to Italy and I'm gonna take grandma to Epcot Center. <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna take pictures in the fake Italy and we're just gonna call it a day. <laughs>